In this video, we are going to start our quick introduction to Civil 3D. I'm going to be showing you opening Civil 3D, how to customize some things, how to modify some things, how to make your life a little bit easier here, and just how Civil 3D functions. Just a couple short videos on the opening and functioning of Civil 3D. So when you have Civil 3D installed, if you look under your start bar, you'll have Auto Civil 3D and whatever version it is, 2019, 2020, etc. If you want to click on that and then Civil 3D 2020 Imperial if you're in the United States or Civil 3D 2020 Metric if you're in Canada. Now I have uh, Civil 3D docked down on my start bar as well and in my start menu so I can access it three different ways. Simple right click, you can pin to start, unpin from start, etc. and it will add it or remove it. Now another thing that I like to do is when you have your user interface set up, if we right click on our icon, right click on the link itself and go properties, under the start, or sorry, the target, I like to set up a user interface the way I like things to look. And whenever I open Civil 3D, it automatically loads that. So in a default install, this will say, uh, I believe the two up arrows, Civil 3D, etc. And we'll show you in the options. So I'm going to open Civil 3D 2020. And it's going to open, hopefully on this window. Oh, no, it opened over here. And we're greeted with a, with a drawing space that looks a lot like AutoCAD. Now there's a few ways of customizing this to suit your needs and make things look proper and whatnot. And we'll give this a second and I'll take you through some of those options. Now I'll show you how to save all this once we get everything set up the way we want it to look. Now the ribbon is where commands are saved, stored, accessed. You can do all that from here and we can control the display of it with this little gray button right here. So if I click it, it can actually minimize it and take it away completely. Or I could have the whole thing displayed so you can actually see things. But if I go and minimize it, things still show up when I click on it. I'll do that again. And even if I click on home, palettes, so stuff is still there, just whatever level display you want it to view each one making it a bit smaller and moving it around. The menu bar up here I like to use can be accessed from this drop down, hide menu bar or show menu bar. And again, all the options for creating objects in here are in here as well. Your toolbars, when you first start Civil 3D, you probably don't have any toolbars, but they can be accessed by typing in at the command line minus toolbar. And if you know the name of it, type the name in. If you hit all, it's going to turn every single toolbar in. So I like to start with uh, just layers and then show it. Mine is already up here, layers, and I can drag it and move it. And once you have it docked, we can right click on here and access the rest of our toolbars that we need. And then you can load them up that way if you do not know their names. Another handy little option, the three lines in the bottom right for customization. It controls the display of the objects down here. So we can turn off coordinates. We can turn them on if we want to see coordinates. Model space first, paper space, our grid view, our snap mode, dynamic input. And I, I leave dynamic input off, orthopolar. So there's a few options in here. Open up what you need, close off what you don't need. The center of the window here is our drawing window. So this is where we are going to do all of our work. Anything we draw is going to be placed in here. So we have our commands, our drawing window, and our command line down here. Along with the buttons, we can also type in commands. So if I go line, I can draw a line. Now once we have this set up the way we like, I like to go into the options command under profiles 
And once we have it set up, we can add to list. We can name it whatever we want. I'm just gonna name this one Kyle2020. It looks like I haven't made one yet. And it saves the way the view currently looks. Then we can click on it, set current, and it's going to load until we restart Civil 3D. So under the properties, this open arrow, C3D underscore metric close arrow, used to be in my properties. I have changed that so it always loads Kyle-2019 and that's the last thing I've, I've worked on. Another way to set up Civil 3D, under the files, we can set up support file search paths, it'll load specific things. Uh, trusted locations is another thing within Civil 3D so it won't load folder paths unless they're under trusted locations. Printer support file path, plot style table search path, so this is where all your plot styles are located. Template settings, default templates, you can set those up as well for Q new drawing template file location. Now none of these are set up for my our server path, however, there's the options there. Now when you're working from home, if you don't have a license, we can quickly borrow one. So I'm gonna type in borrow license, and I'm only gonna maybe borrow it to the 31st and see if it lets me. And I'll hit borrow license and it will borrow my license. So I don't need to be connected to this the network. I don't need to be on a company's network, etc. I can work from home if needed. I don't need to VPN in as well. So I'm gonna just clo close uh, drawing one that opened up. And it brings you to the Civil 3D start page. So if we click on start, we can start a drawing from a template. And again, if you're pointed to a server, it will load that server location. We can open files by clicking on open files and you'll click browse what you need and your recent documents here. So we have some recent documents that I have been working on, different projects, etc. And if I click the pin, it pins it to the top. So I, these ones will always be available and we can change the view order, the view display. So we can uh, display how that looks. And the final thing on this page that I wanted to point out is right here under the notifications is that I have seven product updates. Now, keeping your Civil 3D up to date is of utmost importance. If you get this notification, you can click on this update button. However, I'm gonna close Civil 3D and down in my toolbar, I'm gonna click on the Autodesk desktop app. And I've signed in with my account. If I go to my updates, it shows me all the updates here that are available for Civil 3D or InfraWorks, anything I have installed on my machine, any Autodesk product. Now the two I absolutely do not install is this DACH extension and this is Bay ISYBAU translator. These tend to cause issues in saving and whatnot for the English version. So do not install anything with DACH or ISYBAU. And to simply update, click update. And uh, the, uh, the updater will download the update and apply it. So I'm gonna go through and update my Civil 3D and then the next video will be starting to get into some of the user interface options of where we can find stuff.